Hippopotamus vs. Rhinoceros. Who would win between these two big animals? Welcome back to Indonesian English channel. Please hit the subscribe button before you watch this video. Hippopotamus. The hippopotamus, hippopotamus amphibious, also called the hippo, common hippopotamus or river hippopotamus, is a large, mostly herbivorous, semi-aquatic mammal and ungulate native to sub-Saharan Africa. It is one of only two extant species in the family Hippopotamidae, the other being the pygmy hippopotamus, Chiropsis liberiensis or Hexaprotodon liberiensis. The name comes from the ancient Greek for river horse. After the elephant and rhinoceros, both of which are found in Africa and Asia, the hippopotamus is the third largest type of land mammal and the heaviest extant artiodactyl in the traditional, non-cladistic sense of the term, not including cetaceans. Despite their physical resemblance to pigs and other terrestrial even-toed ungulates, the closest living relatives of the hippopotamidae are cetaceans, whales, dolphins, porpoises, etc., from which they diverged about 55 million years ago. White Rhinoceros The white rhinoceros or square-lip rhinoceros Ceratotherium simum, is the largest extant species of rhinoceros. It has a wide mouth used for grazing and is the most social of all rhino species. Historically the major factor in the decline of white rhinos was uncontrolled hunting in the colonial era, but now poaching for their horn is the primary threat. The white rhino is particularly vulnerable to hunting, because it is a large and relatively unaggressive animal with very poor eyesight and generally lives in herds. Size and Description Hippos are recognizable by their barrel-shaped torsos, wide opening mouths revealing large canine tusks, nearly hairless bodies, columnar legs and large size. Adults average 1,500 kg for males and 1,300 kg for females. Despite its stocky shape and short legs, it is capable of running 30 km per hour over short distances. Hippos are among the largest living land mammals, being only smaller than elephants and some rhinoceroses. Among the extant African megafauna, behind the two African elephant species, they average smaller than the white rhinoceros but are larger by body mass than the black rhinoceros and the giraffe. Hippos measure 2.90 to 5.05 meters long, including a tail of about 35 to 56 centimeters in length and 1.30 to 1.65 meters tall at the shoulder. Mean adult weight is around 1,500 kg and 1,300 kg for males and females respectively. Very large males can reach 2,000 kg and exceptional males weighing 2,660 kg, 3,200 kg and 4,500 kg in captivity have been reported. Male hippos appear to continue growing throughout their lives while females reach maximum weight at around age 25. The white rhinoceros is the largest of the five living species of rhinoceros. By mean body mass, the white rhinoceros falls behind only the three extant species of elephant as the largest land animal and terrestrial mammal alive today. It weighs slightly more on average than a hippopotamus despite a considerable mass overlap between these two species. It has a massive body and large head, a short neck and broad chest. The head and body length is 3.7 to 4 meters in males and 3.4 to 3.65 meters in females, with the tail adding another 70 centimeters and the shoulder height is 170 to 186 centimeters in the male and 160 to 177 centimeters in the female. The male, averaging about 2,300 kilograms is heavier than the female, at an average of about 1,700 kilograms. The largest size the species can attain is not definitively known. Specimens of up to 3,600 kg are considered reliable, while larger sizes up to 4,500 kg have been claimed but are not verified. On its snout it has two horn-like growths, one behind the other. These are made of solid keratin, in which they differ from the horns of bovids, cattle and their relatives, which are keratin with a bony core, and deer antlers, which are solid bone. The front horn is larger and averages 60 cm in length, reaching as much as 150 cm but only in females. The white rhinoceros also has a noticeable hump on the back of its neck. 
Each of the four stumpy feet has three toes. The color of the body ranges from yellowish brown to slate gray. Its only hair is the ear fringes and tail bristles. Range and habitat. Hippos inhabit rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps, where territorial males preside over a stretch of river and groups of 5 to 30 females and young hippos. During the day, they remain cool by staying in the water or mud. Reproduction and childbirth both occur in water. They emerge at dusk to graze on grasses. While hippos rest near each other in the water, grazing is a solitary activity and hippos are not territorial on land. The hippo is among the most dangerous animals in the world due to its highly aggressive and unpredictable nature. They are threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat and ivory canine teeth. Despite being semi-aquatic and having webbed feet, an adult hippo is not a particularly good swimmer nor can it float. It is rarely found in deep water, when it is, the animal moves by porpoise-like leaps from the bottom. The eyes, ears, and nostrils of hippos are placed high on the roof of their skulls. This allows these organs to remain above the surface while the rest of the body submerges. They inhibit the growth of disease-causing bacteria, and their light absorption peaks in the ultraviolet range, creating a sunscreen effect. Hippos differ from all other large land mammals, being of semi-aquatic habits, and spending their days in lakes and rivers. They can be found in both savanna and forest areas. Proper habitat requires enough water to submerge in and grass nearby. Larger densities of the animals inhabit quiet waters with mostly firm, smooth sloping beaches. Male hippos may be found in very small numbers in rapid waters in rocky gorges. Hippos mostly live in freshwater habitats, however populations in West Africa mostly inhabit estuarine waters and may even be found at sea. With the exception of eating, most of a hippo's life occurs in the water. Hippos leave the water at dusk and travel inland, sometimes up to 15 kilometers, to graze on short grasses, their main source of food. The white rhinoceros consists of two subspecies, the southern white rhinoceros, with an estimated 19,682 to 21,077 wild living animals in the year 2015, and the much rarer northern white rhinoceros. The northern subspecies has very few remaining individuals, with only two confirmed left in 2018, two females, Fatu, 18 and Najin, 29, both in captivity. Sudan, the world's last known male northern white rhinoceros, died in Kenya on 19 March 2018. The white rhinoceros is thought to have changed the structure and ecology of the savannah's grasslands. Comparatively based on studies of the African elephant, scientists believe the white rhino is a driving factor in its ecosystem. The destruction of the megaherbivore could have serious cascading effects on the ecosystem and harm other animals. Diet All hippos, even those with different diets, secrete the pigments, so it does not appear that food is the source of the pigments. They spend 4 to 5 hours grazing and can consume 68 kilograms of grass each night. Instead, the animals may synthesize the pigments from precursors such as the amino acid tyrosine. Nevertheless, this natural sunscreen cannot prevent the animal's skin from cracking if it stays out of water too long. The secretion does help regulate the body temperature of the hippo and acts as an antibiotic. White rhinoceroses are found in grassland and savanna habitat. Herbivore grazers that eat grass, preferring the shortest grains, the white rhinoceros is one of the largest pure grazers. It drinks twice a day if water is available, but if conditions are dry it can live four or five days without water. It spends about half of the day eating, one third resting, and the rest of the day doing various other things. Behavior Hippos have barrel-shaped bodies with short legs and long muzzles. Their skeletal structures are gravipodal, adapted to carrying their enormous weight, and their specific gravity allows them to sink and move along the bottom of a river. Hippopotamuses have small legs relative to other megafauna because the water in which they live reduces the weight burden. Though they are bulky animals, hippos can gallop at 30 km per hour on land but normally trot. They are incapable of jumping but do climb up steep banks. The hippo's jaw is powered by a large masseter and a well-developed digastric, the latter loops up behind the former to the hyoid. The jaw hinge is located far back enough to allow the animal to open its mouth at almost 180 degrees. 
A moderate folding of the orbicularis oris muscle allows the hippo to achieve such a gape without tearing any tissue. White rhinos have a distinctive broad, straight mouth which is used for grazing. Its ears can move independently to pick up sounds, but it depends most of all on its sense of smell. The olfactory passages that are responsible for smell are larger than their entire brain. The white rhinoceros has the widest set of nostrils of any land-based animal. White rhinoceroses, like all species of rhinoceros, love wallowing in mud holes to cool down. White rhinoceroses produce sounds which include a panting contact call, grunts and snorts during courtship, squeals of distress, and deep bellows or growls when threatened. Threat displays, in males mostly, include wiping its horn on the ground and a head low posture with ears back, combined with snarl threats and shrieking if attacked. The vocalizations of the two species differ between each other, and the panting contact calls between individual white rhinoceroses in each species can vary as well. The differences in these calls aid the white rhinoceroses in identifying each other and communicating over long distances. Now let's get back to the main reason we are here. In a head-to-head -head fight, who will win? A hippopotamus or rhinoceros? Hippos are often considered to be the most ferocious and aggressive animals in Africa. In contrast, rhinos are less aggressive and are actually more solitary animals. First of all, rhinos have very poor eyesight, some of the worst in the animal kingdom. Hippos obviously are short-tempered than a rhinoceros, they get agitated quite easily compared to the rhino and alpha male hippo lives in constant fights over life and death with other gigantic male hippos over access with all female cows to mate, and massive 20 feet crocodiles, so an alpha hippo has quite the experience for fighting. Rhinos don't have the constant battle experience a hippo has, and are certainly less experienced than the hippo in a sudden confrontation. However, hippo tusks are made of ivory, stronger than rhino keratin. But a rhino could easily impale the soft body of a hippo, but vice versa the hippo ain't biting through a rhino's skin easily nor would it go through enough to make the bite fatal. If the hippo is too far from water, the rhino probably wins. On land, the rhino has the hippo beat in terms of speed, maneuverability, and weight. The rhino can charge the hippo, and while his horn isn't as hard as the ivory tusks of a hippo, it is still plenty hard enough to penetrate a hippo's skin. After enough horn-sized hyles are poked through its hide, the hippo will eventually bleed out and die. If the fight takes place at the edge of the water, say, by a watering hole, then things become much more dicey. The rhino dare not enter the water, and the hippo dare not get too far from the water's edge, lest the rhino's land advantage start to come into play. If the fight takes place with both animals in the water, then the hippo almost certainly wins. The hippo has far more speed and maneuverability in the water, and will likely attempt to push the rhino further and further into the water to try and drown the rhino, something it is definitely capable of doing. Regardless, no matter which animal is the victor, both will likely sustain severe damage. That's all for today, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. So, later you will get a notification for our videos. And thank you for watching. African man